Hi everybody, I'm Nikki from Cooking with the Codas. So today I want to talk to you about the difference between a registered dietitian and a nutritionist. Oftentimes in our cooking shows I mention that I'm a registered dietitian and I get a lot of questions about um, whether I'm a dietitian, a nutritionist, what to call me. So I wanted to clear that up for you today. So all registered dietitians are nutritionists, but not all nutritionists are registered dietitians. Dietitians have to go through a series of steps before they can call themselves a registered dietitian. The first step is to complete a bachelor's degree from an accredited program. Programs have to abide by certain standards and prepare their students to become dietitians. Once you complete that bachelor's degree through the accredited program, you're able to apply for a dietetic internship. And once we're matched to an internship, that is 1,200 hours of supervised practice. And in that internship, you are working in food service. You're working whether it's in schools or nursing homes, even in clinical food service in hospitals. You're working in the clinical setting, so you're working alongside uh, clinical dietitians um, and doctors and nurses. Finally, there's community nutrition, so you'll be working with public health agencies and a variety of different programs. There's a large variety of areas that you work on within the internship, and different internships have different focuses, um, but overall, those are the three categories that you work within. Next is the exam. So finishing all those competencies during your internship will help set you up to be able to take this exam. And then after that, you become a registered dietitian. And you can call yourself either a registered dietitian or RD, or you can call yourself a registered dietitian nutritionist, RDN. Of those credentials uh, mean the same thing. It means you went through that whole process that I just mentioned. Finally, you have to do continuing education. Registered dietitians are obligated to provide evidence-based recommendations. Uh, we're held to a very high standard that we have to provide what has been shown in research to be effective for whatever we're discussing. We rely on hard evidence such as peer-reviewed articles or randomized control trials. So with that continuing education, that's very important for registered dietitians because Science is evolving, things are changing, new studies have been done, new recommendations are being put out. That continuing education is very important uh, for the education we're giving, the practices we're doing in the, the hospital setting, and so forth. So dietitians can work in a variety of settings. I work in an outpatient private practice, so we do one-on-one -on -one nutrition counseling uh, from patients that are referred for Whatever health condition, whether it's diabetes, heart disease, working on weight management with somebody, maybe failure to thrive for those that are underweight, people that have feeding tubes that need to have the proper nutrition that way. So we work with a variety of different people and we work on just making lifestyle changes using evidence-based research to give our recommendations. There's so many different areas that dietitians work and um, it gives us a good perspective on how versatile this profession is. That term is very broad. Um, anyone can really call themselves a nutritionist without having a specific amount of uh, training or education to go along with it. It could be someone that's in the wellness field and although they may not be a dietitian, they wanted to get extra training so they could have gotten a nutrition degree or took certain certification classes. A nutritionist can also be someone that learned about nutrition on their own and maybe lost weight and uh, wanted to motivate others. They can call themselves a nutritionist as well. And again, nutritionist is a very broad term, so um, there's a lot of different areas that someone can uh, come from and have a background in. They're not necessarily held under the obligation to provide evidence-based research. When looking for a nutritionist, it's hard to know what their background is and what kind of education level they have. Whereas if you're working with a dietitian, we're all required to go through all those steps I previously mentioned. So I hope all this information I provided to you was helpful. And please let me know if what other questions you have. 
And thanks so much for watching. Remember to tune in to Cooking with the Codas. We have a new video coming out every week about healthy eating and simple meals you can make in your home.